Okay, so hello everyone. This is Akshay here. Welcome back to the another great day of our GFG PA to So before starting the question, yeah. Okay, I have a solution hide it. But okay, question is very easy. Before starting the question, uh, some time ago, I was I hope everybody is safe and fine. Stay cautious. Okay. So the question name is find transition point. So we have been given a sorted array containing zeros and one. We need to find the transition point. What is the transition point? That is, we need to return the first index where one was observed. Before that, only zero was observed, right? So we need to return the index of first one. So definitely, this is our first one in the first test case, and the index is three. That's the answer. If there is no one present, then definitely return minus one, right? We do not find any ones, right? Okay. So again, let us do some. Um, uh, what are the methods possible? And then we will see in depth that was the pseudo code and code, right? Great. Okay. Let me see. So method one is very simple, yeah. linear traversal, kar lo, right? Ek for loop, you can see when it comes to your 1 aata hai. and once you have found your 1, you will just break, break from, the, uh, from the for loop, you will return, like the return and that's it, you will get the answer. Let us compile and run, while it is compiling and running, what is the time and space complexity? Time is O of n, space is O of 1, n is 10 power 5, great, so this brute force will be submit, ho that would be count as the submitted code. Okay, so let's just wait for the submission. Great, yeah, this question is done, but uh, okay, attempts 5 are my. I mean, this is the first question we have done, 2020, great. So, I was doing CPU code, karta tha, as you can see. Thik hai. What is the next approach? Thik hai. What is the next approach? We have a sorted array. We have been given a sorted array, correct? We have been given a sorted array. Sorted array ho or we index find karna ho, then binary search in our mind, so it won't be fun, right? Binary search to lag nahi chahiye isme. And that is why we will use the Nycomsty logger. Agar aapko binary search nahi pata, if, you, if you're not aware of how the binary search works, then definitely uh, pause this video here now. Uh, study the binary search from uh, whichever sites you want. And for if you want to study with me, then definitely there's a video present on my array's sorting playlist, right? You can search in my sorting playlist. Okay. So, what will we do in this? We will do that we will have, let's say, we will handle this element. 0, 0, 0. And we have 1, 1, and 1 more 1. Right? So, name the index is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, this is, will be our low point. That is, let's say, a starting point, And this will be your ending point. Let's say, high. So, we calculate mid. Mid. So, I am writing it as M. M is nothing but L plus H by 2. Right, so this will give you, we will be coming at 2, right, 5 plus 0 by 2 will give you 2. So this will be your mid, or first mid. Correct, now it is 0, yeah. it is 0. It is sorted and I want to search for 1, then definitely I need to make my binary search call for this portion, that is from m plus 1 to h, right. That means your updated l is equals to m plus 1 and your h remains same, right. So let's just handle handle this condition. So what I will write if if array of m it is zero, then definitely I need to make a binary search in the right hand side. So I will say l is equals to m plus one h remains as it is. Now there would be an else if case. Else if case will say that if the mid index is equals equals to one, right? Then what we need to check? What we need to check? So let's just do a binary search again. So l is at this point h is the point so m m would be pointing here my new m would be here now i can see it is one what i need to ensure more i need to ensure that this would be your first occurrence of one right so that means the desired one will be answered if and only if it's m minus one index it's just previous index points to zero that only i can say but for this m for this m index i can see the previous index is also pointing to one that means I need to make a binary search again in this portion, in this portion, in hope that there is again one present just behind this M index. We need to do the binary search in the left half, right? Okay. So what are we checking? What are we checking? So here we have a two case. If M minus one, so first of all, if you're doing an determinant, so let's, do, let's keep it safe. Let's first check that it should not be out of bound. If m minus 1 greater than 0 and an array of m minus 1 is equals equals to 1, then definitely you need to make a binary search for the left side, right? So your updated l, l would remain same, 
your high this would remain same your high would be updated to m minus 1 right so actually your binary search is going from where to where your binary search would be going from l to m minus 1 so this point so i will just say high equals to m minus 1 if that's not the case if that's not the case then definitely array of m equals to 1 it is ensured m minus 1 is not equals to 1 to ensure definitely found in the else case and i will just say return your m and that's it and at last i will just say return minus 1 correct okay so for this case let's complete the iterations so l l and h is pointing to the same index right so l is l is here h is m minus 1 so h is also here right so that means l and h is pointing to the same index so we need to run your binary search well l is less than equals to x right that is true now again m would be pointing to the same index 3 plus 3 by 2 will give you 3 and now you can see it is 1 and the behind index it's 0 so it falls in this else case and will return the m great yeah we have done this question this was an easy one i i didn't hope i did not hope you require this solution or the video today because if you have known the binary search definitely you'll be able to solve it by yourself so please pause this video here try to code this approach by yourself and then we can resume ahead with the coding section so that's the java code the same thing we have written as we have seen in the dry run and the sudo code so i will not give you an explanation again i will not give you a walkthrough let's just compile and run great let's just hit the submit button and while it is submitting why the time complexity of binary search is login because if you see if you see there were a bunch of five elements right we completely ignored the left half right we completely ignored this part we go on to the right part then again in the right part of these four elements we again ignored the right half so you can see right if your element is six then you have reduced the search to three elements if your element is three then you have reduced the search again to three by two one element right and similarly you go around decreasing in division of two so that is why it is log and base to the time comes to of the binary search okay great the submission has code has been success, uh, successfully submitted so let's just switch back to c plus code that's the same code we have done in java and the dry run again no walkthrough is needed so let's just hit the submit button and we have got our submissions great yeah so in totality there were two approaches i hope you able to do it if not just memorize this thing uh, understand by heart this time and if next time binary search comes you'll be able to do it Okay, so till then, let us meet in the tomorrow's GFG Pure Streak. If you have seen video, dekh liya. if it's helping you, then definitely do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until then, keep learning, keep going. Bye bye, and take care.